dumb tanks that die. So many dumb tanks that die. Dumb tanks that die. So many dumb tanks that die. Learn your tank cannot fly. Shot right out of the sky. When your team ain't much help, they mess around and kill themselves. Dumb tanks that die. So many dumb tanks that die. Dumb tanks that die. So many dumb tanks that die. Hello, World of Tank Blitzers. It's Littlefinger with another dumb way to die here on Mines and the Object 252U. And yes, I just picked this tank up. This is my third battle. Got it at the winter auction. Um, probably overpaid for it a little bit, 10,000 gold. But, you know, it's a tank that I have wanted for quite some time. BL-13 gun, 122 millimeter, doing 420 alpha. That is the highest of the Soviet tanks. It's got this, you know, typical accuracy of the Soviet guns. Um, <clears throat> but what I really like about this tank is just the trollish armor that it has. You can see here just from the back, all of these angles, really nice sloped turrets on the side and back. Um, you know, it's, it, it's just one of those tanks when you face it, it seems like everywhere you look, you're seeing red. So, uh, I did want to go ahead and, you know, have this tank in my garage, pretty mobile for the, uh, you know, a heavy tank, 35 kilometers per hour. But as you can see, ah, you know, obviously the accuracy, you want to be up close and personal in this tank. But, you know, we're up to 1,500 in blocked damage already. We're going to go ahead and focus on the Lycan there. Keeping an eye on the ISU. One more nice shot. We should be able to get him out, sure enough. Now we're going to back down the hill here and try to keep from getting shot by the ISU 152. You can see this is a real close game here. Three on three, and I'm just... Trying to get a little hold down. You can see the difference there between not being hold down and being hold down. This poor ISU couldn't get around, so we're going to finish him off with an APCR shell. Two on one at this point in time. And, I, you know, I last saw him over there at the camper spot. So I'm going to sit here for a good second, um, total of 10 seconds actually, so that we're no longer spotted and we can move around up here. Throw one shot just in case he was sitting there waiting. I'm telling the other TD there, just just wait for me. Let me go first. Um, I could probably withstand some SU 152. I can probably get away with uh, taking a shot. So we're going to come up behind him and uh, bring this down to normal speed. And then I'm going to slow it down about right here <clears throat> after we get that first shot in. He's going to drive past me, but I can't keep blocking him because of the rock. Here comes our SU, misses his shot, rams into him, and dies. I'm still reloading, and that SU shoots HE <laughs> into my tank and kills himself. So we got a double dumb way to die there. We'll go over that one more time. I'm trying to keep him from turning on me, trying to stay aside. SU rams him from behind and dies. And yeah, here comes the shot from the SU. HE, that close, never a good idea. And we managed to survive it. So we did 3,000 damage, 77,000 credits. Uh, so far, three games in, I'm liking the tank. But uh, maybe we'll do a full tank review on it later. So hope you guys are having fun out there this holiday season. Um, don't forget to, to keep playing that board game. Keep getting some free credits um and then uh, check out the auction there's some good tanks in there right now prices are still a little bit high but as always guys have fun out there stay safe get educated not fingered little finger out